Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Now, a deal is in the offing just next month over Britain's demands to reform the European Union. That's according to the European Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker. At the start of a year which will decide Britain's future in or out of Europe, we've been speaking to the man some say forced David Cameron into offering a public vote. In the first of a series of interviews with both sides of the debate, our political editor Gary Gibbon has been asking Sir Bill Cash what made him so sure that Britain's destiny lies outside the EU. If there's ever a heritage tour of Eurosceptic history, the coach would have to stop here. Upton Cresset Hall in Shropshire. The man who restored it has been battling European federalism for 30 years, demanding an in-out vote for nearly 20 years. For some, Bill Cash is the reason we're having a referendum. When did you get the house? Um, well, we acquired it in 1970. What sort of state was it in? It was completely derelict. I mean, to the point where there were pigs and chickens in the house. Uh, For many, were, he nearly um, wrecked the Conservative Party, leading rebellions against John Major over the Maastricht Treaty and helping throw the Tory party out of power for 13 years. But for Bill Cash, fighting European federalism comes first. John Major will no doubt go to his grave thinking you were a very malign influence on his leadership, the Conservative Party's political fortunes. Uh, I, I dare say that's true, and if it is true... Um, You're technically very, right, isn't it? Well, it certainly, we certainly had a very significant impact, and I played my part in the impact it had during the course of the Maastricht debates. But Europe could but, be doing that all over again for the Conservative Party. Well, that isn't the issue, actually democracy that is the essence the issue for bill cash is european federalism why does it obsess him part of the answer may lie in early childhood that's my father's military cross which he won uh in uh july 1944 he died what age uh he was 26 just and, 26 and you were i was i was six uh, no 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 sorry it was it, he was 26 i was four and i actually remember um going to the door um, when the man who brought the telegram brought it for my mother and I opened the door and took it and she immediately knew what it was and she collapsed and uh, I uh, took the telegram, my, my grandmother was there as well and it was, uh, it was a very um, uh, traumatic experience. Captain P.T. Cash, R.A., um, killed in action, and there's his helmet at the bottom. Mm -hmm. um, like his heroine Margaret Thatcher, Bill oh, Cash backed membership of the European community in the 1975 referendum. Was, Margaret and Dennis stayed with us. Um, for a, a decade later, uh, both had sniffed a federalist conspiracy. Um, the priority now wasn't post-war really peace, quite, but fighting a Brussels superstate so in the making. When you start out supporting Europe, you think you're honouring your father and what he was fighting for and trying to bring peace to Europe? Yes, I mean, quite definitely. And um, then later you feel you're honouring yeah. him by turning against Europe? I, I think the, the, um, the, there is a lot in that. A home video of Margaret Thatcher, just after the Maastricht rebellions, praising his dogged battle against federalism. Bill has made a tremendous difference, and I'm one of his greatest fans. I, I'm still slightly bowled over by it even now, if I may say so, to be quite frank. One part of their bond, a shared distrust of what post-war Germany was up to in Europe. I think they've changed enormously um, uh, since the Second World War, but I don't think it's either been sufficient uh, or uh, in the right direction. I think it's rejected. They don't quite wrong. get democracy, you don't I think? Don't, I don't think that they appreciate it the way we do. But you feel it's in their sort of DNA. There's something about the Germans. I, I think that they are uh, they're, they're, they're intensely logical. 
uh, and they ha have a determination uh, to and have they think they know the right terms. way. Yes, I think it's they want it on their own terms. What's this? Uh, well, this this is, fire hazard over here. The, this <laughs> the, this is the uh, accumulated diaries. Has it got a publisher? His trademark um, style is dogged, lengthy so legal dissection. The only way he believes to expose the law's Brussels rights to ensnare us. Being called a bore, a euro bore, a logic chopping euro bore, again and again well, and again. Well, that, did it get to you? No, Does it, it get to you? No, it doesn't. For a very simple reason, um, not that it isn't boring from time to time, because it really is. But it's the fact that that's the material. That is the foundation block on which they're creating this European Union. It's one of those sort of quintessentially English places, really. Is that the, the original moat? Yeah, that's the original moat. Now, there will be some people who say, typical sort yeah, of I Eurosceptic, know, I know. I know, I know. little Englander, here he yeah. is with his pile, yes, he's I even know. got a moat. He's even got a moat, yes, well, they will, won't they? And people will say, there's Bill Cash caught in the past, it's yeah. all right for him, he no, lives not in at a all. No, I didn't agree. fairy tale, I, not remotely. historic home. No, not remotely, because actually what it is, is the, it's, it's actually essentially what this country is all about. This is why people fought and died in wars, and actually to save this country from being dominated by other countries, it does go back a thousand years. In recent years, Nigel Farage has reached for the Eurosceptic crown. And he's not been that nice about this early pioneer. That you are a hopelessly out of date tribal politician. So how did he respond when he heard his own son was going to run for UKIP in last year's general election? How were relations at that time? Oh, between the two of us, we were absolutely fine. You were very cross with them, though. There was a frostiness for about beginning. two or three weeks. Yeah, because oh. I, I... We do live within sort of 300 yards. I'd say the Berlin Wall went up. <laughs> but, but it came down again. <laughs> there are a lot of people who would say that uh, the reason we're having mm -hmm. a referendum is not because of your party leader, Nigel Farage, but because of your father. Well, I think that's a debatable point. UKIP certainly comes into its own, and where Nigel is leading from the front is by actually traveling around the country, and that goes to a great radical 19th, 18th century tradition, actually um, getting up and doing what I call the grassroots stumping. Do you think well, something well, minute, that there's no question in my mind, the business what, for I Britain... I think your father wants to speak. What, what, what William won't know is that actually I'm very much involved in the grassroots campaign, which is beginning almost as we speak. But maybe what he's saying is that Nigel Farage is better at it. Uh, I'm saying that... There at is that a, bit of the job. There are what I'm saying By is... By the way, can, can I just say for a second, if you don't mind, it's just this. This is a voter-driven, grassroots operation. Now, the knighthood. Yes. I bet uh, you thought that wasn't coming, didn't I, I, you? I, I, I was pretty surprised. David Cameron organised the knighthood, even though Sir William Cash helped to force him into a referendum he didn't want. If Bill Cash loses and Britain stays in, is that it? How long do you think before Bill Cash or the next generation of Bill Cashes pick up the weaponry, I go to the barricades? I think it's deeply embedded in, in the character of the people. There and will be another there battle. There will be another battle, I'm convinced. If he wins, David Cameron will want to say our nation's destiny is now settled. But Bill Cash believes the forces of British history mean his side will prevail. If not now, one day. We're not against Europe. We are against the European Union and the way it works. It's not anti-European to be pro-democracy. I think I'm going to put you down as a don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I mean, you couldn't write at the federation. The final statement, Demosthenes has just finished. And he says, you know, I think he's actually on the side of the Persians. <laughs>